It's, uh, it's really incredible to, to meet a teaching such as the Balance You Training and um, meet a teacher or teachers and a community of people who are so um, dedicated to knowing their innate perfection and the innate perfection of everyone. The basic goodness, you could say, that's present in every single moment. And um, it's a great treasure. <laughs> and where this basic goodness is being recognized in, in everyday life, in, you know, in washing the dishes, <laughs> in the um, argument with a partner, in the feeling like a loser, in the wishing, you know, sitting at home, watching telly, wishing you were doing the most exciting thing in the world, or watching someone on telly doing something and you're sitting on your sofa and then the thoughts come up and be like, God, I'm just such a loser. <laughs> or whatever it might be, wherever we might be, you know, or coming out of the most incredible life-changing training and going straight into a family situation where you feel all your buttons are immediately pushed. You're like... I've lost all open intelligence, I've lost all ease, all relaxation. Oh my God, I've gone back 10 years. <laughs> and the gift of having a, a teaching, a teacher and a community and a practice to apply in every single moment of life to get to know the inherent basic goodness in that situation, in yourself, in that entire moment, shining forth as that moment, that is the gift of the Balance You training. That is um, the gift of being human, you could say. But without it being pointed out to us, without us being guided to see that, without us training this recognition up, it gets utterly lost. Um, lost in the many, many descriptions that we have about ourselves and ideas we have about ourselves and the world. That was definitely my experience of living the first 28 years of my life that there were good times where I had good thoughts and emotions. And then there were, uh, most of the time, it was pretty sort of average. <laughs> and then there were bad times where I had negative thoughts and emotions. Where, and I just thought, wow, this, you know, those times were definitely not what I wanted. Those thoughts and emotions were not what I wanted. And most of my life was geared to seeing how I could only have the positive ones. That was the, the ongoing life project. To definitely avoid having the thoughts of being a loser. <laughs> so then the life starts orientating around how can I not be a loser? <laughs> how can I make my life as exciting as possible? And not just so that I'm feeling that it's exciting as possible, that everybody else knows that I'm living the most exciting life because only then am I going to be complete. <laughs> and so that this, this like life energy just starts getting focused on trying to control and uh, maintain and gain more of having positive thoughts and emotions in many different ways that I learned that that was needed, that I needed to do to make that happen whether it be from hanging out with the right people, being in the right scenes, getting the right job, having a partner, the right partner, and um, you know, being seen at the right parties, being popular, and just and generally, um, at any time, if any, anything sort of negative started arising, antidoting that away in some way, replacing it with, to have a moment of relief, which I felt was something better than being with that negative feeling, whatever it might be. And um, really all I can say, it was a constant effort. <laughs> a constant effort in order to maintain a way of being that I just learned, come to understood was best or better. Or um, the way that I would feel complete as a human being. And then... Around 10 years ago, I walked into an open meeting not dissimilar to this. And 
I heard the trainer speak about that, that I could, I could recognise and rely on open intelligence, that my mind is completely clear, open, vast and pure in every single moment. Everything that arises, is arising within it is, not depend, is independent from it, completely inseparable. All of these thoughts, emotions and experiences that I had been worrying myself over for so long were like a rainbow in space, arising vividly, but not separate from the sky, not separate from the space, completely pervaded by space. All of these thoughts and emotions and experiences were naturally self-releasing, like mist in the air or like the lightning in the sky, bright and apparent and then gone, poof. And we can look at our own experience right now and see if that's the case. And in the training, we have a term to encompass all experiences, which we call data, just to keep it completely simple. So you can see for yourself right now, any experience that you've had, any data stream that's arisen in the last moment or in this moment, where is it now? Where has it gone? Does it abide? Has it resolved? And you can just examine your own experience very openly and see that, say, thought that you had a moment ago is just resolved back into basic space, leaving no trace whatsoever. We can't hold on to it. So all of those positive thoughts and emotions that I was always trying to hold on to, they too just naturally resolving, naturally self-releasing, perfectly, perfectly arising and resolving as they are, and the negative thoughts and emotions, never even needed me to go in there and try and manipulate them, try and do something with them. It's like, you know, trying to move space, <laughs> sky and sky, pieces of sky and sky, and rearrange the sky in order to make a better display. And what we're introduced to in the Balance You training is our fundamental intelligence, our power to know that's at the basis of everything that we perceive, that's inseparable from everything that's arising, all of the data streams open intelligence, we call it. And to recognize, to be introduced to open intelligence is completely simple. You can just stop thinking for a moment and notice what remains. Openness, alertness, clarity. Open like the sky. Vast like the sky. There's no end to intelligence. It's completely inseparable from every thought that's arising, every emotion that's arising, every single data stream, only known through open intelligence. They're inseparable like the color blue and the sky, data and open intelligence. And what we are given in the practice that's given through the Balance You Training is just so simple and so incredible. It's just for short moments to recognize open intelligence, repeated again and again. To recognize the openness of mind, to recognize the completeness of this moment as it is, inclusive of whatever data stream is arising. Now this was such a shift in perspective for me, going from being so focused on my data streams and describing them, like sorting them into positive and negative and trying to then navigate my life according to having more of the positive, getting rid of the negative, and into just resting for short moments and allowing the current data stream just to be as it is. And this is the amazing application of this practice that we bring into our everyday life. And we get to know stability, a clarity, an openness, a power that is not available to us when we're focusing on the data streams and we're constantly pouring all of our energy into managing the display of data. We relax, we rest at the basis of every perception. We rest at the base of the perception of being a loser. We allow it to be as it is. How relaxing is that? <laughs> totally relaxing, totally <coughs> radical. Totally right. No one ever tells you you can relax with the idea of being a loser, which is anyway spontaneously arising and resolving on its own. You know, like a design in space, just so relaxed. 
arises spontaneously. The, the moment it becomes a problem <laughs> is when we jump on it, when we try, we, you know, that feeling, I know for myself, whatever it might be, if I, you know, anything can be a problem, basically. <laughs> the moment we focus on it and, like, have labelled it as an issue or it's, like, not what we want in our experience, then it's immediately a problem. The moment we just completely rest. So in the practice of short moments, it would be, okay, this thought or emotion comes up and we just recognize bright open intelligence right there, shining forth as the data stream, inseparable from the data stream. We recognize the data stream as it is. We allow it to be as it is. And we see that this data stream arises, flourishes and self-releases on its own. Just like that, so simple, and it's gone. And maybe it comes back the next moment, but we allow it to be as it is again. And what I've seen is I've discovered this incredible freedom, incredible freedom, an incredible beneficial power of all experience, all data streams as they are. Like understanding everyone who ever has felt a loser, right there, that's our profound wisdom. <laughs> as human beings, we have complete connection with everybody. And so it's the most beautiful way to live in every single moment, tapping into the innate wisdom of every single moment of our intelligence. And rather than just collapsing into the narrow focus of a description of data, resting completely openly, allowing it to be as it is. It's uh, the most natural disposition of our intelligence, our mind. And what Balance View offers is a support empowerment network for this to be brought into everyday life with spectacular results. So there is no, you know, the, the support of a trainer, the support of community, teachings, media, con you know, reminders really. Because the, the, the other reminders I had in my life were not about allowing my data to be as it is or resting naturally for short moments. It was very much around basically getting rid of the negative and having more positive. And that game just undoes itself. We just, it relaxes away in the, in the, in the movement to, to be of great benefit to ourselves and others. And, um, and there's, you know, there's always a fresh moment in terms of writing to the trainer. <laughs> it's just like that. Really, it's like that, like anything. And it's just, you know, sometimes we don't do something for a while and then suddenly we do it. <laughs> it's just, and I see more and more for myself, I, you know, seeing what supports me and what serves and what's of benefit. And, and it even can just be the shortest note of like, hi, how are you? And it just opens up a, an ease of being in touch again. And um, after there's a there's a foundational training in the balance you in balance you called the 12 empowerments which is really just an opportunity to take such a clear look at our experience and our life and and really see areas where we've been emphasizing data and limiting ourselves and really just allow open intelligence to be obvious to us and empower ourselves completely in relationships, in different aspects of our life. And through that process, we are in touch with the trainer and we can also then be in touch with the trainer afterwards to really bring this recognition fully alive in all areas, to empower ourselves completely. Because that's ultimately the purpose of the Balanced View Training is total empowerment, seeing that we're not a victim of anything that arises in our mind stream. That all the while there is innate perfection, total openness, complete clarity, like wisdom arising. And we just get more and more used to that. That whatever that stirring might be, the sadness, the heartbreak of the world resting deeply there, that reveals to us so much, so many more riches than trying to dampen the heartbreak down. I, and we just see out right there, we're totally open, totally stable. Open intelligence is unaffected by this arising of heartbreak and sadness. It's, it's pure. It's totally pure. There's no problem in it. And that is the great fuel. That is the great fuel to really bring change in this world when we allow those data streams to be as they are. And we no longer avoid our power. And um, 
was just listening to a talk this morning with, with Candice where she just said, just, you know, that sad, like rest there and that sadness. It's like so powerful. Not an indulging it, not going into more stories, just so pure and open. Allowing that to be as it is, allowing it to reveal everything to us. It's such a natural and innate way of being that has just somehow been forgotten by humans and we just bring it back into our everyday life. <laughs>